in depth, investigative. This is KXAN News at 10. It's been hyped as the war on Christmas for years. And the symbol of government and power in the state, the Capitol, could soon become the latest battlefield. A group will put up a nativity scene, a depiction of the birth of Jesus on Christmas inside the Capitol Rotunda. This issue is being debated in other states with questions of separation of church and state versus the rights of free speech and expression. KXAN's David Scott live at the state Capitol with more on this decision. Dave? Now, you've probably seen the holiday tree out in front of the Capitol building over the years, but no one can ever remember seeing, and we've checked, a nativity scene inside the Rotunda Dome. That's brand new, but you'll see it this year, and it is one of 30-some displays going up in states all across the country. The nativity scene will go up smack dab in the middle of the Rotunda, underneath the sunlit dome and watchful, stern portraits ghosts of governors past. The State Preservation Board gave the green light since private donors made this possible. No state sponsorship, support, or endorsement. The Texas Nativity Scene Project says this is where they make their stand. I think very much there's been a pushback against Christmas. I think there's very much been a war against Christmas. Uh, and this effort is, is, a, is an expression of, uh, of the Christian community coming together and saying we have a right to be in the public square and to express our views just as much as anyone else does. As the weekend work goes on to get the display ready, not everyone is singing hosannas. Critics warn it better be clearly marked as a private exhibit or it will give the wrong expression that people don't walk in and immediately assume, ah, this is a Christian nation and a Christian display. And, you know, Jews are going to feel out of place. Muslims feel out of place. Atheists feel out of place. It's not just the godless heathens trying to shut down Christmas. I, I love Christmas. Matt says he's even got the ornament to prove it. He maintains one option is to ban all such displays by anyone. Or there's two options. And one is you let everybody put up whatever they want, in which case this place kind of looks like crap. Shh. The girls might not agree. Now, the Christmas crate will be unveiled this coming Monday at 11 in the morning. There'll be pastors and prayers, and the Christian Choral Society of Austin will perform the songs. It'll be up for a week. Whether there'll be any protests or opposing displays, we'll just have to see. At the State Capitol, David Scott, KXAN News. Bringing other cases into this mix, we told you the other day how Attorney General and Governor-elect Greg Abbott has already said he would file legal briefs if needed in support of the Cherokee County judge. County officials in the northeast Texas town of Rusk were told to remove their nativity scene from the grounds of the courthouse by the American Humanist Association. Abbott says the Establishment Clause of the U.S. Constitution permits passive displays acknowledging our nation's religious heritage. But the question might be what the nativity display inside the state capitol might lead to. State officials in Tallahassee just allowed a satanic temple to put up a display later this month inside the Florida state capitol building. The satanic group tried last year, but the image of an angel falling into a pit of fire was deemed grossly offensive. The temple planned a lawsuit, and this year the satanic artwork will be put on display in Florida. All of this comes after the Florida Prayer Network put up a nativity scene last year for the first time. The Florida Capitol gives groups one week to show off their respective displays. This includes a Festivus display, a parody made famous on Seinfeld, and one put up by atheists, some say mocking Christians with the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster. So what do you think about religious and non-religious displays at the Texas State Capitol building? We want to hear from you. Log on to the comments section for this story at KXAN.com. And by the way, we checked with Austin City Hall and the rules there when it comes to this sort of thing. And while it is a public space, we learned you can't necessarily set up whatever you want. However, city officials tell us policy does allow someone to get the sponsorship of a council member to reserve space to set something up. This all comes after last year's passage of the Merry Christmas law. Just this week, lawmakers in Santa Claus there were on hand at the Capitol reminding people this law means that teachers can say Merry Christmas in school without getting into trouble. This includes phrases such as Happy Hanukkah instead of 
banning all mentions of these holidays. And in addition to a Christmas tree, the Capitol also displays a menorah for Hanukkah. In years past, Governor Rick Perry joins in on the celebration put on by Chabad Austin. He will once again be at the Capitol event on the first night of Hanukkah. That's this coming Tuesday, December the 16th.